Hey there, speakers. Hopefully you're having a fantastic Monday. I know mine has been full of travel and adventure, and I'm looking forward to talking with you. Just a few thoughts that I had this morning while I was out on my run. This is Jeff Downs, and this is The Streaking Show, and let's get going. On my run this morning, it was pitch black, and one of the areas where we live, they actually have a ordinance that prevents lights from shining up into the air. It doesn't mean that you can't have any lights, but they have to be downward facing. So it makes the area in which I run very dark, especially when the moon is just a sliver and there's no other light. The stars shine very brightly. The winter constellation that I look at and really like is the constellation of Orion. Orion is the one that appears in the sky, especially in the morning, and I know that it's wintertime. And with wintertime comes crisp, cool runs, dark mornings, and a lot of opportunity to think and ponder and decide what it is I'm going to do with that winter. In other words, how I'm going to face it. You know, winter is different for different people. Some people really enjoy winter. Some people really enjoy the cold and the crispness of the air and the snow that comes. Others move south for the winter. (laughs) They do it because they don't enjoy it at all. Weather is a matter of attitude and what it is you choose and how you choose to act on that weather. That's one of the things that I thought about this morning as I sat up in bed. I had had um, an early morning this morning because I had to catch a flight And I sat up in bed and I sat on the edge of my bed and I stopped right there for just a moment. And I thought, I have a choice right now. Because I was not feeling up for a run, I was thinking a little bit more sleep would be really good. And I sat on the side of my bed and I remember thinking, Jeff, you have a choice. You can get up, go get dressed, get your running clothes on and go out on your run now or because I have the streak of run and walk at least one mile every day, I can do it later on after my travels. And I thought to myself, remember that. (laughs) The streak that's laughably simple, some of them get ridiculous hard as time passes. Even the write at least one sentence every day streak can get harder and harder as time passes in the day. That's one of the reasons why you keep it laughably simple is so that when you're tired, when you're depressed, when you're emotionally tried, when you're physically tried or tired, you are able to complete that particular task. And why? Why is this so important? I've got to go back to the podcast that we had with Scott Wozniak on Friday. What a fantastic conversation that we had with him. He works with organizations organizations all over the globe on excellence on and the book that he's coming out with and if you listen to the podcast you know this how to make your brand legendary now he references and talks a lot about organizations and making their brand legendary and what they have to do what i took it as i looked at it as personally what is your personal brand what do you personally want to be known for What is it that you're looking to accomplish and do in life? And how are you going to get there? In his book, which I haven't read yet because it's just got, oh, it doesn't get released until October. uh, I think it's 10th or 11th, something like that. What he highlights is that in the book, he talks about five particular principles that are necessary to make your brand legendary. He first talks about the fuel. And again, if I'm going into this and you listen to it on the podcast, I apologize. I'm just going to give you just a little bit of flavor before I go into my main point here. He talks about the fuel going into the system, which is really knowing your customer's intents, what they want to accomplish, who they are, understanding your customer, not just knowing about them, but actually knowing them and who they are. That's the fuel that goes into this customer excellence engine. The second thing that he said is something that has stuck with me the entire time that since he said it to today, and I'm still mulling it over, he said the most critical part of any organization to make their brand legendary has to do with their operations. And he uses McDonald's as an example. 
he talks about McDonald's and he said, the difficult part with McDonald's is, and if you've done this before, you know what I'm talking about. You go to get an ice cream and the ice cream machine is broken. Now McDonald's, when they do their soft serve ice cream, it's good. It's good ice cream. But because it's unreliable, it's hard to know and it's hard to trust that when I get there, the ice cream is going to be available and therefore unmet expectation kicks in. And when you have an unmet expectation, that is a critical error. So from this talk that we had with Scott and as we were discussing McDonald's and what it takes to make your brand legendary, he kept on emphasizing consistency. Consistency is the critical piece. Now you streakers know where I'm going with this. Consistency is the heart of streaking. It's why we streak. It's what we, it, it's the whole reason behind streaking is to get really good at consistency. And when you get good at consistency, that allows you to accomplish, well, it allows you to get credibility and confidence, which allows you to accomplish some great results. Now, how do you get that consistency? And obviously through streaking. One of the quotable quotes that Scott had on the podcast was this, inconsistent excellence brings the same trust as being consistently bad. Just take that in for a second. How significant that is. Inconsistent excellence brings the same trust as being consistently bad. Now, where did I apply all of what he was saying about organizations? I'll say it again, is in your personal brand. You can be excellent. You can have intensity for a few days, a few weeks, even a few months. But that inconsistent excellence brings the same trust, confidence in yourself as being consistently bad. Or, consi- cons- <laughs> you know, that that's really massive when you think about it. I mean, that's critical to your success, to who you are as an individual, to what you want to do and accomplish, being inconsistently excellent earns you the same amount of trust as being consistently bad. I saw that in myself eight years ago. And I saw it, I guess, before eight years ago. Eight years ago, I saw the solution. But before that, I was just inconsistent. One of the areas that I felt really... um, well, it's re- really, what, what, should I, what I'm trying to say here, badly about, one of the areas that I felt uh, that I should do more, that I should work harder, was in the consulting I was doing. And I would go out and talk with business leaders in all realms of business. And they would talk about the books that they were reading to understand, know better, different ideas and thoughts on how to run a successful business. And I wasn't reading those books. In fact, I was barely reading anything. I'd read a little bit and it hadn't been that I hadn't read before, but (laughs) wow, I was just looking at and thinking I am inconsistent and I may be excellent, but being the inconsistent excellence, I'm not getting the trust in myself that I need or the individuals with whom I work having trust in me. And so I set the streak to read at least one, one paragraph of a nonfiction book every day. And that has led to literally hundreds of books being read rather than trying to, you know, just be intense and excellent in one specific thing. So here's my challenge and my invitation to you. Your personal brand relies on your consistency. That's really what you're striving for is that consistency that will get you what you need going forward to become the person you want to be. The fuel, the, the fuel to the engine, to your personal brand engine, is looking at who you want to be and then becoming that person. If you want to learn more about streaking, download the streaking app. Go to the learn. Go to learn and you can learn a, about streaking and the laws of streaking. If you want to really get into it, download the book or buy the book and download the book at Amazon or anywhere books are sold. And you can also, uh, obviously, subscribe to the podcast. That'd be great. Give us a rating on any one of those. Until we talk tomorrow, keep streaking.